Hello, and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of October 20th, 2020. Wow, 10 20 20 20. <laughs> what, a great, what a great day, I guess. I'm not sure. Well, when it comes to the second stimulus check and stimulus package, here's what's going to be what's basically going on. Nancy Pelosi and Steven Mnuchin, they basically continue to negotiate over the stimulus packages. In fact, Nancy Pelosi had a phone call with uh, Stephen Mnuchin uh, at 3 o'clock today. She had one with them yesterday at 3 o'clock. That lasted 53 minutes long. And uh, basically, they all did this via phone. Isn't that nice, right? Via phone. Both Pelosi and Mnuchin have instructed their staff to work around the clock on the next stimulus package. And Mark Meadows says that the Republicans have increased their offer from $1.8 trillion to $1.9 trillion. And I gotta say this, I gotta thank my a very valuable resource that actually let me know about this yesterday. That'd be one of my viewers named Freddie. You know who you are, buddy. Thank you, man. But this is still short of what Nancy Pelosi wants of $2.2 trillion. The Senate, in, the Senate is voting on a standalone bill for a second round of PPP money for the self-employed and the small businesses. They're doing that today. And the Senate will be voting on another standalone bill tomorrow, which will include the extension of unemployment as well as, well as other benefits. Trump is petitioning to have the uh, third debate focus on the foreign policy instead of the, what they both agreed on, which was letting the the moderate, I can't even say his name, moderator, choose a topic because Trump is trying to avoid talking about his failures when it comes when it came to the pandemic and how poorly he handled it. So basically. He wants to avoid that topic because he knows he sucked. In the UK, they are deliberately infecting candidates with COVID-19 to begin Phase 3 human trials, which they call the Human Trial Challenges. The challenge is, will you survive it? Will the vaccine work? And if it does, woohoo, win! <laughs> and last week, I reported about how Johnson Johnson halted their Phase 3 uh, human clinical trials well today Johnson & Johnson as well as the FDA they both basically refused to tell us what the unexplained illness was that this person got during the phase 3 trials okay Peter Holdis a vaccine scientist at uh, Bueller College says that this upcoming winter people they this upcoming winter, people are going to feel abandoned, like they're alone. He says this is going to be the worst and most darkest chapter in modern American history. Chief of Staff Mark Meadows says by narrowing down their differences on the variety of issues, the Republican Stimulus Package is currently standing at $1.9 trillion. And like I said, thank you again, Freddie, for that information. That was very helpful. I appreciate it, man. Um, he also said that Pelosi is very rigid in her negotiations and has a all-or-nothing attitude. So basically, she either gets what she wants or we get screwed, right? Pelosi is currently standing firm at $2.2 trillion. <sighs> I don't want to say about that one, but... So it's either her way or the highway. I'm, I'm having a feeling that we're not going to have the highway. And I say that because we have Republican senators going up for office. And after the elections are all done, if they don't get voted back in, they're basically going to be sitting around doing nothing and not caring about stimulus packages or anything like that about people for at least two months. So by the time of January 2021 starts, that's when you get the new people in, whether they be Democrat or Republican, that actually might start do something about the stimulus package to help the people out and try to make it greater because their predecessors sort of screwed around a lot. Mitch McConnell said that if uh, Mnuchin and Pelosi reach, a de reach an agreement on the stimulus package, that he will put it up for a vote on the, fl in the, f on the floor of the Senate. 
Tomorrow, the Senate will be voting on a $500 billion standalone bill that will extend unemployment benefits, give $100 billion to schools to make it safe for kids, and funding for testing, tracing, and vaccine development and distribution. Trump is demanding a change to the third debate topic. The third and final debate is on the 22nd, which is Thursday, basically. And it says that Trump wants to focus on the foreign policy because he believes, well, because he's too afraid of answering any questions about how he failed the American people during a pandemic. God, you, God, you. And in Kansas, there was a COVID-19 outbreak in a nursing home. The infect, that basically infected every resident. Of the 62 residents, 10 of them have passed away, and one of them is in the hospital, and the nursing home is under lockdown until the infection goes away one way or the other. I'm hoping for the best. And in the United States, there are 31 states currently reporting a rise in COVID-19 cases. Thank you for joining me for the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. I hope, you see, I hope you guys enjoy my stuff. If you do, please give me a big old fat thumbs up. And if you want to hear my loud voice more, please hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, and you will. And until then, you guys have an excellent night and a wonderful Tuesday. Please stay safe, and remember, we're all in this together. Bye.